we have a process where we have two isochoric lines and two isobaric lines and we need to find the efficiency of a cycle if absolute temperature of the gas rises n times both in isochoric heating and in isobaric expansion. So the least temperature in this cycle is going to be here and in isobaric uh, sorry isochoric expansion it's given that temperature increases n times. So if it is T here it becomes NT here and then then in isobaric expansion again it increases n times. So the temperature was NT the temperature becomes n square T here. So what will be the temperature here? So that you can figure out. So let's say this is uh, P1 and this is P2. So this is an isochoric line which means P1 by P2 is equal to T1 by T2. So P1 by P2 is nt by t which is n. Now if you come to these two points, so again P1 by P2 which we already saw is n. So n is equal to n square t upon this temperature which gives this temperature must be nt. So other way to figure out uh, this temperature if you can see from the v1 and v2. So again same thing we'll do. So v2 by v1 is equal to n square t by nt which is n. So v2 by v1 is equal to n. So v2 by v1 is also equal to this temperature divided by t which gives this temperature must be nt because v2 by v1 is n. So we have the temperature on all the four nodes and we need to find the efficiency. So let's begin. Efficiency is uh, work done in the cycle divided by q1 plus q2. And we can see that uh, heat is gained by the system in this process and in this process. And heat is released in these two processes. So work done is uh, delta Q which is Q1 plus Q2 minus Q3 plus Q4. That is W divided by Q1 plus Q2. So that we can write as 1 minus Q3 plus Q4 by Q1 plus Q2. So now we just need to find the values of Q3, Q4, Q1 and Q2. So for the isochoric processes we know that uh, heat is NCBDT and for isobaric it is NCBDT. So that's what we have done here. So for Q1 which is isochoric it is N0 CV into N minus 1 into T. And Q2 is isobaric so N0 CP into N square T minus NT. Similarly Q3 and Q4 so Q3 is equal to N0 CV into N square T minus NT. And Q4 is equal to N0 CP into NT minus T. So we'll just put the values here and just simplify that and get our answer. 